Okay, y'all. Uh, what we're going to discuss this time is um, properly matching your NVIDIA video cards for SLI. Now, I don't play with the retail crap um, GeForce cards or any of the gamer cards, but I do play with Quadros and I do play with Teslas. Um, and the same rules apply to both families and it's actually several subfamilies. So what I've done here is I put this on just for a joke, just I was gonna be amusing, but then I couldn't remember half of what I was gonna say, so we're not gonna do that. Now these two cards are improperly matched because this is a Kepler architecture K4000 down here. And this is a um, Fermi architectures um, Charlie 2050 C2050 Tesla so they don't match and Nvidia cards when you team them on SLI you have to stay Maxwell with Maxwell Kepler with Kepler Pascal with Pascal and so on you have to stay with the family of the architecture of the card so we're gonna rip this out of here and it's like I said a Quadro K4000 and put in the proper card which is a straight 4000 and it's the same architecture as the um, as the Tesla C2050 right above it sorry I'm in a lot of pain and I'm trying to bend over and do this one handed and that ain't doing nothing but making it worse so bear with me here uh, yeah, that's the secret to this one. This case is basically cell block shorty. I use it to test boards. I use it, and currently I'm using it to test up a bunch of AMD CPUs. Right now it's got a Ryzen 7 in it, I think. Might be a Ryzen 5. I think it's the Ryzen 7 was the last one that was in here. Um... Boom, now those are properly teamed on SLI. And you can run these without the cables, um, mixed architecture NVIDIA's, and still see a little bit of benefit. Don't forget your power back there. Um, oh yeah, and another thing, your larger NVIDIA cards that have an eight pin and a six pin, usually you can just plug in the eight pin power on the back and you're fine. Um, But that's the whole secret to having your NVIDIA card. If it's a Quadro FX, team it with something FX. Same architecture. Um, Kepler K-Series, Pascal P-Series, M-Series Maxell, they all team together with each other. Maxell with Maxell, Kepler with Kepler, original Tesla with original Tesla, which would be FX. Um, Fermi with Fermi which is what we've got here I believe and problem solved they team together they work together beautifully now while I've got this out I should mention for the K2000's don't have the, this problem nor do the um, 6000's but the Quadro K4000 if you've got one of these cards just plug it in on DisplayPort because even if you download the CUDA Toolkit 8, 8.0 which was the last CUDA toolkit that supported the Keplers um, or the K4000s anyway um, these cards these K4000s get misdetected as being a straight 4000 and uh, if you're plug plugged in on DVI a lot of guys are running into problems where that'll mess you up. The workaround is just plug it in on DisplayPort and run it out to your HDMI adapter out to your TV. Um, that's a workaround but no matter how many times you install the CUDA driver the Microsoft that stupid Windows update is gonna keep updating it unless you block the driver update. Um, Microsoft will keep updating it to their stupid driver which misdetects it as a straight 4000 but now we have a correct pair and 
We have incorrect memory. <laughs> I've got two different speeds of RAM in there. Properly banked, but two different speeds. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody because I know a lot of guys are mixing architectures and they're wondering why their SLI doesn't work. You read about them in the forums all the time, and I actually read about that in the forums on accident.